hey ladies welcome back to my channel yes the content is coming and i'm so glad that i have help now because i got myself a little a little assistant and i am so grateful um to have finally found the perfect person to help me out with you know this channel because you all know i've been struggling <laughs> to put stuff on this channel because the majority of my content is on my patreon and we have uh, i've been on that patreon for almost three years and you all know, shout out to all my patrons that have been there with me from day one i love you ladies so much if you would like to join my patreon hit the link in the description below i really do recommend that you join and you know it's it's not much it's not going to cost you much once you sign up to my patreon you are going to have access to almost three years of exclusive content that is only on my patreon so you know you should consider and hit the link in the description below let's move into the to the video in this video we're going to be talking about laurie harvey and if you've been living under a rock and you do not know who laurie harvey is she is the beautiful adopted daughter by steve harvey all right very beautiful young lady gorgeous yeah she's beautiful like her mama anyways apparently laurie harvey makes men that she dates sign a NDA or non-disclosure agreement before they get to date her. I'm so mad because that is so smart. So when I read this news, when I read this in the blogs or it showed up on my on my timeline on Facebook or wherever I saw it first, I don't remember. I think it was Facebook. Um, I I immediately I thought that that was so smart. Why haven't I thought about that before? And then I started thinking about the 48 Laws of Power because we did do the 48 Laws of Power in my book club on my Patreon. Yes, shameless plug. Let me tell you something, ladies. Every successful person on this planet read. They are avid readers. They read books. And this is one of the reasons why I have a book club. And we have that book club literally every Sunday. We've been doing this for three years. And one of the first books that we did in the earlys was the 48 Laws of Power it is recorded so if you want access to the recording get on the patreon all right so we did the 40 laws of power a while ago and it's a great book i highly recommend it highly highly recommend it we discussed the book we did a lot of notes etc loved it okay and i feel like the book is life changing and i feel like if you're a woman that is dating that is navigating life especially if you are in corporate for whatever reason <laughs> I highly recommend this book and I recommend this book for men and women okay it doesn't have to be the book is for everyone not just for men or women all right so the one of the laws that I was I was thinking about was law number five and I'm going to read it for you really quickly so much depends on reputation guard it with your life so that's law number five and we discussed this a, a while back your reputation is very important, especially when you're on this journey and you are leveling up your social status, um, leveling up all areas of your life, your work, your relationships, everything. Your, your reputation is very important, especially if you are concerned about building personal wealth. And in order for you to build personal wealth successfully, you need a good network because everybody knows that your network is your network. So what's important in a network and especially if you belong to a specific community is your reputation especially if you're one of these people that is a public figure or maybe you have a business you know your business you, you know your business needs to have a good reputation because people are not going to support you so you really have to guard your reputation and one of the strategies in guarding your reputation as a woman who is dating especially if you are high profile High value, high profile, it doesn't matter. If everybody knows that a high value woman has a good reputation, period. It is what it is. So having men sign a non-disclosure agreement is not a bad idea at all. And this is how you protect your reputation. And I know people are going to be like, oh, well, Laurie doesn't even have a good reputation to begin with. That is subjective. Okay. I don't think she has a particularly, I don't think she has a bad reputation at all. She's just a young girl that's dating in bed. If you're interested, you all know I don't do the baits and, and that type of stuff. That's not me. I I don't care. But I think I think that is very smart. And I believe that her, her mother is a very smart woman. That woman is not stupid. You all think that, that Marjorie Harvey is where she is today by accident or by luck? 
you are sadly mistaken this woman is very strategic and i'm telling you ladies that you have to have strategy when you're out here dating okay and you know searching for your husband and you know especially if you're in a level up journey you gotta have strategy i don't believe in dating for fun etc i feel like dating without that strategy is a waste of time it really is now i do not know what Lori Harvey's strategy is but the fact that she's allowing men she's making them she's not making them requiring them because they don't have to do it because if they don't i guess they don't get to data the fact that she's requiring them to sign a non-disclosure agreement and they have to pay her a million dollars if they violate that nda that in itself tells me that she knows exactly what she's doing she's not running around um you know doing things on a whim that but that right there is strategy and people that look at Lori harvey and they're like oh she's dating all these men um she has this high body count some of those men that she dated including future i don't even think that they she was really dating them i don't think they were like dating like that i think those i think they were i think she, i think those were business agreements in my opinion okay this is my opinion this is not based on facts okay i don't think that she genuinely dated Diddy or she dated future like she genuinely dated them i think that somebody got paid um all of this was some kind of business arrangement to get laurie harvey on the map and get people talking about her everything that this young lady is doing as far as i'm con i can see and as far as i'm concerned it's all strategy and if you need proof right there you know the fact that she is requiring men to sign a non-disclosure agreement before they start dating her right there should tell you that she knows exactly what she's doing nothing is by chance nothing so overall i think it's a very very smart move and ladies if you can do it if you can require you know your future boyfriends or whatever or your dates or whatever you can write, require them to sign an nda then by all means do it do it um most of us we probably don't need to because a lot of us are not public figures i don't have to because i'm already married but at the end of the day ladies you know think about it think about how important your reputation is and remember the 48 laws of power number five guard your reputation reputation is everything guard it with your life all right so that's my thoughts on the Lori Harvey, this Lori Harvey thing. I think it's so interesting. It's very fascinating. I'm irritated because I never thought about this because if I had ever thought about this before, I would, trust me, I would have been here telling you all to let these men sign an NDA. I can probably elaborate a little bit more on this on the Patreon if you guys are interested, especially for those of those you that are networking. But um, I think I said what I wanted to say. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.